Hi people with the spirit of learning, welcome back to my video in YouTube and I'm so sorry I'm using my iPhone to uh, take record for this video yeah because I forgot to bring my camera but it's okay and today I'm gonna show you how do we make an animation when the user scrolling down and scrolling up in our product well it's gonna be awesome for them because it's just like that uh, if the user pay attention most of the elements that we provide on our product yeah it's just like wow animating is so fancy right yeah so basically i'm going to use sketch and then flinto for the animation but make sure you have to download my sketch file before we start learning because i have provided in the video description so make sure you download and then we can learn together okay everyone let's get started okay everyone so welcome to my desktop spirit of learning yeah as you, you see usually well, this is my sketch and don't forget to download the sketch file because we're gonna learn together. And yeah, well, this is the Flinto. If you don't have Flinto yet, make sure you download the free trial, but if you like it, you can buy a license, all right? So yeah, just uh, import the sketch file. First of all, you have to select the artboard that you gonna import to the Flinto. Then just import here and import one artboard, okay? so. In this study case, we're gonna learn about the animation for the scrolling down and scrolling up with the flint tool, scrolling, okay? So we call it scrolling. So first of all, if you want to make your product to be a scrollable, you have to ensure that your content is more than uh, the preview, just like this, you see, right? So yeah, I'm going to moving first, move those elements to the top, just like this. And you'll see there's a negative space between the scrolling uh, section. If you see that line, a single line, this is called a divider. Divider, it means that uh, to aware you that the contents limit uh, only right there, all right? So, okay, so first of all, I'm going to select the, uh, select all of them. And then you are able to make a scroll group here. But make sure the scroll is only available for the vertical instead of the horizontal, okay? And you just need to preview. And if you see that red color, because it's for the background, so we're gonna manipulate with this, just click on the document, oops, sorry. And you're gonna change that color to be full black. And yeah, here is this, nice, right? Okay, so, before we start, I'm gonna move uh, some layers like a dog and the oval too, and a data statistic, and then the menu. Okay, so the reason why I'm gonna move because I want to make it fixed. So whenever we scroll this design, those elements should be fixed at the top, right? So that's the reason. Okay, so well, rather than talk about we're gonna start right now, but. First of all, you select all of them and then behavior, you click the behavior, it's like a marvel, you know, where the magic happens. Okay, so let's start with the small things. We create another statement here. After the initial, it's called the new stat. And actually, you are able to change it to another stat, which is maybe, yeah, just for the header minimizing. Yeah. And yeah, in this stats, I'm going to remove this data statistic to the top and change to the classic and it has to be a 600 for the duration and make sure the opacity is 0%, okay? And you select the dock and the oval, you're gonna make it smaller than the normal size, so you put in the middle, like this, okay? So if you see here, it's supposed to be like this, right? Very good. So it's because the dog is moved to the top, we don't need this placeholder anymore. So that's why I'm going to make it 0%. Okay. And for this, uh, the background, just like it. And for the Bruno Joe, we're going to make to the top over here. But after that, we're going to uh, setting the opacity to 0%. Yeah, like this. Cool. Okay. And uh, okay, so if you are interested to try, just select this initial 
and then select the new scroll group and create a link to heading to the header uh, header minimizing done and we preview first so if you are scrolling uh, gently you'll see there's uh, animation on it right so nice cool. but I'm gonna make it more fancy so we're gonna save and exit first okay back to the nature we select this chart and uh, you have to setting the end to the zero percent okay and then you select this now and this bullets to the top is three times and then you setting the opacity to the zero okay and after that you select this path three you're gonna make it zero percent for the end of uh, after start and it becomes end right and for the fit we want to make uh, to the bottom one two three and then setting the opacity to the zero okay and for the Bruno awards I'm going to make to the top one two three and setting zero and all of those items that we're gonna make it to the right one two three four five and setting the opacity to become zero okay so after that you you uh, you, you you cannot see anything over there but if we're going scrolling for the user just make it the um, feels, feels like uh, curious about what's going on in their uh, profile so we select this group and edit behavior so in the new stats you have to uh, you have to sew back sewing back those components I don't know how to uh, how to do that but I'm sure that if you select the path to copy three, you'll see that's the end that you have to make it a 100% so if you come back to the initial it's supposed to be like that right but make sure in the classic it just make it longer with the 600 duration right and yeah uh, after that we need this path three so for the path three we start the end to become uh, 100 again it's back to the normal and make sure this is 600 okay and then if uh, if you want to make a delay on it just put uh, 200 so after the chart is on which is uh, ready to go then it, the fit will appear so for this one one two three okay like this hey guys if you see a dog's barking I'm sorry it's a near my hotel is nearby with the a dog so many dogs here so I'm sorry okay so for this we're gonna setting a delay for the 350 a millisecond but don't forget that uh, this fit is supposed to be a uh, 10 opacity percent so if you'll see this yeah like nice right but we we forgot something here actually I do well here uh, we have uh, like the bullets point you know it's like uh, the oval of it but oh here we go so with this one group 3 and oval 3 and the opacity uh, 100 and 1 2 3 and this is supposed to be 600 and the delay is supposed to be five, uh, 450 so if you preview them you see there's a delay wow but you have to scrolling agenda otherwise the animation will be broken okay because I'm using a MacBook but if you are scrolling on the mobile on the real devices then it should be okay okay I'm trying to be gently yeah so okay nice now we just need to working on the a Bruno awards a one two three and then setting the delay of 500 millisecond and the duration is 600 okay oh I forgot to setting this to become a 600 millisecond for the duration and this one okay it's already and this one yeah already so we just need to select all of those items to moving back one two three four five yeah that's enough and the delay is 600 and the duration is gonna set it longer which is 800 so if you do preview here wow amazing right isn't it 
ya yeah. cool so this is how we can easily make an animation a fancy animation for the user just make them feel happy with our product so I'm gonna try with this overview but first of all we have to uh, so first of all we have to select this uh, overview yeah you, you try to select them but it's not gonna happen because a scroll go if so make sure that uh, how do we select them uh, you select this overview yeah in the group and then yeah after that we move to the bottom one two three four five and setting the opacity to the zero okay and going back to the new group to edit the behavior in the header minimalist do you remember what was the group name Mm. Oh, wait, I forgot actually. Oh, this one. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then, yeah, where is the opacity? Actually, it. Oh, I know. This one, right? Okay, cool. So if we preview them. The office is the office is appear because we don't give a delay, so make sure it's longer eight hundred and the delay is one thousand. Okay, so if we do preview here, you'll see the overview, right? It's appear from the bottom. Yeah, this is so nice, right? Yeah, so yeah, we just complete the scrolling animation with the Flinto and sketch and you'll see that how easy is this so make sure that you're gonna explore more to make an animation for your product and try to explain to the developer with the flint tool because it's more easier than any design tools okay i think it's little bug here for a dog so let me fix first um, for these dogs I think it's it, it just too fast so make sure that it's supposed to be a longer 800 okay we try again yeah so it's so smooth right yeah so thank you very much for watching don't forget to like comment and share with your friends and let me know if you have an, a question regarding of this tutorial and if you are a developer please try to implement this animation because I give I have uh, some rewards for you if you can do that, alright? So just let me know if you did this, alright? So yeah, nice to meet you from Indonesia. See you on the next video. Bye.